Quite often whenever you look at a recipe, it tells you how many people the recipe serves. So for instance, if you had uh, this recipe here for, uh, for chili con carne, you've got that it serves for uh, four people. Well, what if you don't want it for four people? What if you want it for eight people, two people, 12 people, 40 people, one person, and so on? It's really useful to be able to scale up or scale down the amount of each ingredient to make sure you've got the right amount. So, if I had a recipe like this and it served four people, and I wanted to work out how many, uh, much of each ingredient I needed for eight people. Because eight people is double four people, I would just double each one of these ingredients. So instead of uh, 500 grams of mince, you would want 1,000 grams of mince, or one kilogram. Instead of 200 grams of kidney beans for eight people, it would be double, so it would be 400 grams of kidney beans. Instead of 20 grams of chilli powder, it would be 40 grams of chilli powder. Instead of 400 grams of mushrooms, it would be double, so it's going to be... Uh, 400 grams of mushrooms and so on. So that's quite straightforward. If it was two people you were cooking for, because this serves four people, two people is half of that, so you're just going to half all of these ingredients. So it would be 250, 100, 10, and 100 for two people. What about for 12 people? Well, if you notice, if you multiply 4 by 3, you get 12. So, okay, so you just need to times all these number of ingredients by 3. Okay, because if you times uh, 4 by 3, you do get 12 people. Okay, so you'd use 1,500 grams of mince, or 1.5 kilograms. Instead of 200 grams of kidney beans, you're going to use 600 grams of kidney beans, because you just times it by 3. Instead of 20 grams of chilli powder, you'll need 60 grams of chilli powder. Instead of 200 grams of mushrooms, you're going to need 600 grams of mushrooms. You just times all of them by 3, because instead of 4 people, it's time for 12 people. What about for 40 people? Well, that's quite nice and easy, because that's 10, 10 times 4. It's 40. So if you times this by 10, you get it for 40 people. So 5,000 grams of mince, or 5 kilograms. 2,000 grams of kidney beans, in other words, 2 kilograms. 200 grams of chilli powder. And 2,000 grams, or 2 kilograms of mushrooms. And what about one person? Well, if you divide this by 4, okay, because this serves 4, so if you half it, it's for 2 people, and half it again, it's for 1 person. Or if you just divide them all by 4, Okay, so you can either half them and half them again to get it for one person, or just divide them all by four. Well, same thing, really. So you just half it and half it again would be 125 grams of mince. Half it and half it again would be 50 grams of kidney beans. Half it and half it again would be 5 grams of chilli powder. Half it and half it again would be 50 grams of mushrooms. So that's really useful. Actually, this one here is really useful, okay? Because if I said three people... It could be quite hard to go from this straight to three people, okay? I personally would do it in two steps. What I would do is I would work out how much you need for one person, okay? So I would divide them all by four, okay, to get what I need for one person. And then for three people, then you would treble or you times them all by three. So it's quite often whenever you're given a recipe, if it's not a quite nice, straightforward and easy one like this, what, what you could do is, one other method, is to find out what it is for one person. So just divide all the ingredients by how many people it serves. And that gives you one person. And then just times by the number of people that you wanted for. Let's have a look at some examples now. Okay, so here we've got a recipe for a drink. It uses 400 mils of lemonade, 200 mils of orange juice, 40 mils of tomato juice, and it serves two people. It then says calculate the ingredients required to serve three people. So with a question like this, what I would actually do is find out how much you need to serve one person. Okay, so one person, or one person. Well, if this is for two people, if you divide all of them by two, you'll find it for one person. So 400 divided by two is 200. 200 divided by two is 100. And 40 divided by two is, for tw is 20. So for one person, you need 200 mils of lemonade, 100 mils of orange juice, and 20 mils of orange or tomato juice. So, you want to serve uh, three people. So you could either just add this together, because this is for two people. And if you add the amount you need for two people and for one person, that's going to give you three people. Alternatively, you could just treble this, okay? Uh, it's quite handy, because if this said, for instance, serve seven people, you would just times all of these by seven. So let's find three people. So, uh, one person needs 200, so 3 people, 3 times 200 is 600 mils. Uh, 3 times, well, if one person needs 100 mils, 3 people would need 300 mils, times it by 3. And if one person needs 20 mils, 3 people, well, 3 times 20 would need 60 mils. Okay, so they would need 600 mils of lemonade, 
300 mils of orange juice and 60 mils of tomato juice. Notice if you just add the two people and the one person together, you actually get the same answer. Uh, that can be quite useful actually. So rather than you know doing it this way, you can actually add them together. Um, but you know dividing it by so if you just take the ingredients and divide it by how many it serves to get one person, and then times it by how many you need, you'll always get the right amount. Okay, this time we've been asked to calculate the ingredients required to serve 10 people. So we've got a shepherd's pie, it uses 200 grams of minced lamb, 2 onions, 0.8 kilograms of uh, potatoes, and 300 mils of stock. Okay, so there's two, there's two ways that I can think of to do this. One way is to, that serves 4 people, so if you had another list of that ingredients, that would serve 8 people. And then if you halved all that, that would then do 2 people, and then add those 3 together. Alternatively, this serves four people, so if you just divide them all by four, you'll find out what one person needs. Okay, so let's find out what you need for one person. Okay, so 200 divided by four is 50, so that's 50 grams for one person. Two onions divided by four, well, half it and half it again, so half of two onions is one, half that, so that's 0.5 or half an onion for one person. 0.8 divided by 4 would be 0.2, so 0.2 kilograms of potatoes. And 300 divided by 4, half of it is 150, half of it again is 75, so 75 milliliters of stock. So that's what one person needs, we need it for 10, so we're going to times all these by 10 to find out for 10 people. Okay, so 10 times 50 is 500 grams of lamb. Half an onion times 10, well a half times 10, about 0.5 times 10 is 5, so you need 5 onions. 0.2 kilograms of potatoes times 10, well 0.2 times 10 is 2, so you're going to need 2 kilograms of potatoes. And 75 mils times 10 would be 750 mils of stock. Okay, so that's one way, of, uh, that's the way I would do this question.